And we are also learning that there is growing evidence that Ukraine has managed to inflict heavy casualties on Russia in advance and that the lightning strike Russia hoped to carry out on Kyiv has been slowed by intense and popular resistance by the people now. Videos like this one uploaded to social media show Ukrainian forces actually repelling Russia's advance into Kharkiv, the mayor then announcing that they had cleared the enemy out of the city. Let's bring in ABC News security analyst and former White House Homeland Security Advisor Tom Bossert, along with ABC News contributor and former Deputy Director of Counterterrorism at the CIA, Daryl Blocker, for more. Daryl, let's start to you. Uh, start with you, rather. Why do you think Ukraine has been so successful thus far in staving off Russian forces? I, I think the resolve is dates back many years, and I think Putin has underestimated what the world's response was going to be. Um, what comes to mind is a M Maya Angelou quote that when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. Putin showed us who he was in Breslin. Putin showed us who he was when he went into Georgia in 2008. Putin showed us who he was when he went in to Donbass and Crimea in 14, and not to speak of the atrocities that he did in, in Syria. So the entire world, including the Ukrainians, have looked at him and recognized that whatever is coming out of his mouth is not to be believed and to focus on his actions. And his actions have proven time and again that he cannot be trusted. So, Tom, does the fact that Russia ha encountering such fierce resistance change the strategy for either side? I think it changes everything for Putin. He was, I think, clearly hoping for an easier path to victory. And now he's not only uh, losing some tactical engagements, but he's losing this entire war of messaging. Uh, he's lost the moral high ground if he ever had it anywhere in the region, certainly starting to lose it with his own people. I think at this stage, uh, what I'm very worried about is that he would change the rules of engagement and simply start uh, slaughtering in mass scale uh, you know, innocent citizens. He's been doing that to a lesser degree, but also hitting individual critical targets like we saw today with the port that they took. Um, I'm afraid that he might just start wiping out large masses of people hoping to break their will. I think he'll be mistaken, but I hope he doesn't try. Daryl, what do you think? Um, because we've also been covering all the Ukrainian citizens. They've been taking up arms to defend their country. We've seen women coming forward, um, videos saying, look, we don't even know how to use this. We're going to figure out how to use this gun. We're going to take up arms. Uh, yesterday, there was a, a female member of the Ukrainian parliament with her gun in her office talking about how she's going to be a part of the fight. I mean, it's really quite amazing just to watch all the volunteer forces uh, continue contributing um, to the military, wanting to help. Is that going to make a difference? I mean, it definitely shows resilience, but will it really, will it help? I think the groundswell has only just begun. I do believe that it will help, if only in terms of how the world is viewing what's going on. When you see a 75-year-old grandmother, and this the picture that I that I have in my mind, lining up her sights and getting ready to learn how to shoot a weapon, probably for the first time in her life, all the way down to children, you recognize that this is not just Zelensky or his government um, that is pushing back. It is the people within Russia, the innocent Russians who were out on the streets, the innocent Ukrainians who were desperately trying to get out of harm's way. So yes, it does matter and Putin far outplayed his hand. And in my opinion, I believe he's going to go the way of Ceausescu. I think he's going to go the way of, of Saddam. I think he's going to go the way of Gaddafi. Perhaps not violent in, but I think the people are no longer going to want this man as their leader to represent them on the world stage. So hold up. Daryl, I mean, if you look at what happened to all those leaders, uh, didn't turn out so well for them. Do you think that exactly. it's possible we could see the end of Putin? I mean, could, you're, you're, are you saying that this could be something like Muammar Gaddafi, where he was killed and, and dragged through the streets of his own country? Well, I wanted to just, I, I didn't want the, the violent end of it, I don't think is going to be. But I do believe that the beginning of the end of Vladimir Putin is marked by this last action. The world's outcry 
is is very it's strong. Powerful, it, right? It's very powerful. So, Tom, what do you think about that? Uh, in addition to, I want to get your reaction about Putin now putting his his nuclear threats out there as well. Before this action, I've said there's no chance that the people around Putin would raise up uh, arms against him. I'd say it's highly unlikely, but now, actually, there's some small degree of, uh, you know, doubt. I think it could happen. Certainly, the people are losing faith in him. I think his military soon will, but uh, I don't want to make any kind of immediate forecast. Putin's in pretty firm grip of control and power right now, and I think will remain so. I don't think he'll be on any uh, international stages for the rest of his life, uh, but I do think that he'll maintain control for at least the next 30, 40 days or more uh, as he escalates to de-escalate, which is his normal approach. Well, like Saddam Hussein, uh, Daryl, I'm already looking at the scenarios. Uh, we'll see if we find uh, Putin hiding in a in a spider hole, you know, back in his uh, his home country. We'll never forget that day. Uh, Daryl Blocker and Tom Bossert, appreciate the insight. We'll keep talking, gentlemen. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.